Um, well, if you were watching that from our street, oh, that's loud. Okay. Hang on, I'm going to have to do something about that. Um, that's okay. I'll give YouTube a chance to notify everyone. Uh, if you were watching this after the fact, I apologize for probably a, a little minute of dead air or whatever, but uh, I'm just making sure it's all working. It appears to be. <laughs> uh, and, oh yeah, it looks like we're connected and everything, so that's good. Okay, um, if I turn this on... <laughs> I only hope I am not too late. I'll talk in a second. Hold on. That's probably future. very echoey. Targets identified. Hey. Select agenda and body type. Aborting process. Okay, one second. I'm gonna have to restart that anyways. Um Sorry everyone. Welcome to the stream. So we're, today we're going to be playing DC Universe Online. I just I, did, I left my speakers on, so I'm just restarting it because uh, otherwise it's going to echo the whole stream, which is no good. Also, I should have an account with this game. I used to play it a very long time ago. Um, I think we will be creating a new character, but I should have something. Um, uh, okay. They really don't seem to remember. Okay, so... Maybe I will try and log in. Prob oh, no, hey. This is not helpful. Sorry, guys. I had it all set up, but I did not... I neglected to check, like, oh, this is my account and everything's working, and... It doesn't seem to remember any of the characters I had. And that includes, you know, some assets that, uh, like I had bought this game years ago, so I should have access to it. So give me a second to, uh, to check this out. Hey Tevia, thanks for joining us. We'll, we'll hop into it in a second. Maybe we'll watch that cutscene in a minute, but I'm just trying to figure this out really quick. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just currently trying to log in now. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe my characters were lost or whatever. You know, we were going to start fresh, so maybe we'll just start fresh then. That's fine. That does appear to be my account. Uh, the only downside of that is I had, like, new characters and stuff. <laughs> or, uh, like, unlocked stuff. But we'll see how that all goes. Um, I'll be honest, I've seen this trailer a million, or this, like, opening cinematic a million times. But I, uh, I, it has been like years since I've played this game, so I am kind of curious what it's like now and what's changed, uh, or if this is just a bit of a trip down memory lane. Uh, but I was thinking about it as I was setting up this stream, and it is a cool, robust adaptation of DC Comics. Um, sure, why don't we make a female? I have a bunch of male characters I know. Large. <laughs> oh, I see. Interesting. I like the large, tall, giant person. That seems fun. 
So I really remember liking the uh, character creation here and stuff like that. Um, you can really adapt a bunch of different characters if you have in mind. Okay, I do want to see if I can... Yeah, see, I should have currency in this game. Um... And stuff that I've like bought and unlocked. So let me just double check here. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Okay, well I have the receipt here for this game. That's something. Okay. Hmm. I am tempted to reset this one more time and try and uh, get my character back, like my characters and stuff back. Uh, I do apologize for that, but whatever. <laughs> We're here to hang out and have a little fun and, oh, well, this is an interesting side of it. Okay, so I have my account here. It does seem to be linked to the right one, but maybe I'll just try and log into a new account. I'm gonna just try and reset everything and see if that somehow works. Oh, I see. I might have... Okay, okay, I get it now. Sorry, everyone, but I think I have this figured out. And if I can remember my password, then we'll be in great shape. Yeah, okay, I think I got it. Sorry for the multiple resets, but having access to whatever DLC and characters I've opened up will allow us to do more in character creation, which is something I had forgotten about. <laughs> so uh, I think, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I have my cool, this guy's like a speedster, but I love the design of him. And this gets into what I was saying about uh, um, there being more than one character uh, that I had available. Interestingly, only, oops, oh no, 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 go back. <laughs> I did not know we were gonna be starting here. Oh my god, yes, leave character creation for a moment. I did have more than one character though, so I am a little confused about that. Um. Restore. That can be restored. What if I. No. Hmm. I do wish. That they um, had more information about my account here. Because, oh hey Shadow Catcher, thanks for joining us. Sorry it is currently uneventful. I mean, we've made progress. Okay, I do have one other account apparently with these guys, so I'm gonna try that one. Because I had an account where it was like a paid subscription and stuff, so I got a ton of currency for it and all that. So it will absolutely be worth it to restore my account. 
I don't know why there are three different uh, characters or uh, accounts I have with this game, but uh, you know, we'll just keep trying until I get it. There's only three, so at least I know. Okay, and they all have the same password apparently. <laughs> Oh boy, sorry for the rough start. How long is it? 10 minutes? Oh my god. I'm sorry about that. I do try and prep these things and I like started the game and it's like, okay, it's working. I didn't get far enough to... I just saw the character creation thing, maybe at best. But uh, yeah, I do like this game because all these characters are in it. Uh oh, character creator. Okay. Well, perhaps it is just those, uh, that one character then. That's fine. I was going to start from scratch anyways, but I wanted at least some things to be unlocked. And I'm pretty sure I did have some things unlocked. I wish this thing was like, here's how much currency you have. Maybe when I'm logged in, I'll be able to figure that out. All right, one more time. <laughs> But yeah, I don't think we need to watch this over and over again. Uh, if anyone has any ideas for what kind of characters you want to see me create or what kind of character we should make, uh, I'm all up for that. I didn't really come into mind with much. Oh wait, why is it? Oh my god, sorry. I'm getting real sick of rolling around at this all over again, but... That was the wrong account. Because at least one of them had a character on it, and hopefully some things unlocked for it. Why are there two of you? Okay, whatever. So it's this one that I want. And that is my account. It is possible that just in the 10 plus years since I played this, stuff got deleted or lost along the way. But, uh, at the very least, this account, I know now, this is all that I have, now that I've checked the other two, but that is weird, though. Um, alright, I don't, I think we should start from scratch. Um, but this time we're actually going to do it. So I kind of did end up with a character in mind at some point. Maybe like... <laughs> I'll actually go with a little guy. Hmm, and that's right, we can play as hero or a villain. Let's start with a hero for now. Primal. <laughs> I love the comical pose. I remember that from back in the day. Oh, Flirty's pretty fun. I think we're going to go with a relaxed kind of character. Okay, so then you select your origin, so either magic, meta, or tech. I think I'm going to go with meta for the character I have in mind. Ah, uh, yeah, so I don't have any of these things unlocked. Ah, uh, but I, this is the one with funds and stuff. Okay, so we can just unlock things like that. Um, okay, that's fun. I was thinking of an elemental character. It's interesting that they don't have one that bridges all those gaps, and instead it's, it's different ones. We could also make a red lantern, which would be pretty fun. Now, maybe, maybe we'll go with that. Well, that's good. This is at least the account that I said had all that currency on it and stuff. Why not? Let's have fun and make a red lantern. Great. Okay, I'm making ragey. Okay, so then you get... Oh, that's fun. Oh, of course. So when I was playing, they had three movement types. Now they have four. Um, You know, we are here to explore new things, so why not? We'll try that out, too. All right, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a skimmer. Okay, and then you also get your weapon, which does determine a lot of how you fight in this game, and I remember that, which really adds a lot of variability too to like all the different uh, 
types of fighters. I was thinking either, I guess we have a red lantern, so maybe hand blast even? I think hand blast, because then it kind of goes with his abilities. And oh yeah, appearance. I don't love this costume, so. Oh, then, okay. Yeah, so there's a huge variety of stuff we can do. <laughs> ah, I see. Hmm, I was thinking of some sort of pale monster. Ooh, there is demonic. Uh, that's not really what I had in mind. Mummy? Oh, that's pretty fun. Yeah, I like that. Okay, hair. Maybe just bald. No hair. None. Perfect. Yes, perfect. Okay, great. Okay, so we're going to create a red lantern mummy, which I really like, actually. I think that's fun. Um, costume. So I kind of want him to not have much of a costume at all. Oh, here we go. None. Yeah, yeah. Emblem. Oh, that's fun. So we can still have an emblem on him. Ooh, M for mummy. We're going to have to deal with those colors in a minute. Uh, oh, sweet. He can have a cape or a backpack. Embellish. How does he look in the front with the cape? Yeah, it kind of just comes out of nowhere is the only thing. Oh, quiver. Zach Taft, thanks for joining us. Ooh. I'm good, thanks. I like the angel wings. <laughs> we are currently making a DC superhero. Ooh. I think the mummy in jeans is a great look, and then he's barefoot. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. I am doing well, Zach. How are you? Um, okay, so then, then we can change this color a little bit. I think they did a pretty good job for this character creator, given that this is all quite old. So, for one thing, <laughs> I think we want this brighter. Zach is saying, got any plans for more Midnight Suns? I've played more Midnight Suns, but I was finding the uh, stream was, I don't know, kind of just... I don't know, losing interest with people, I guess? I can see why. I think the game just lost people's interest, you know? And at a certain point, I just uh, started enjoying it more on my own. So and that's all the plan is really right now. Uh, I kind of like this. I kind of like the blue jean look, though. So maybe I'll bring that back. Yeah, now I got rid of the awkward red outline all around it. I quite like that look. Great. I got a blue mummy. Now... As for, oh, that's what we got here. Maybe, okay, so, oh, that's just his skin there. I kind of like that color of his skin. I was wondering about the bandages. Are the bandages color something? We, oh, we can change it. Okay, so they do kind of look bandagey. I wonder if we can make that. Ooh, oh yeah, you can do a lot of cool stuff with this. I wonder if we do this. Ooh, yeah, this maybe grayish. <laughs> I gotta have my mummy super hero perfect and I think that's exactly what I want a creepy mummy with blue demon wing blue angel wings I should clarify who skims around and has a red lantern ring Urinator says, do you ever make a video on why you can't do the old sty style videos and what? And did you used to work with an Asian dude? How's he doing? Um, so that's Joey. Joey has stepped away from the channel pretty officially at this point, but that's mostly just because like, he's got kids and life to worry about and all that. Um, he's doing well though, but yeah, he won't be posting videos anytime soon for the foreseeable future unfortunately but he just he has three young children and that's just a no-go these days uh, so I've taken uh, over full time I don't really know what you guys mean by old style videos because we'd still do like complete stories and top tens and everything we don't do the recaps reviews as much anymore but that was 
just exhausting more than anything like that else. Uh, but I'm getting into other stuff and experimenting around more these days. Um, so hopefully that kind of answers your question. Uh, name contains invalid character. Stir mummy. Ah, yes. Okay. So we just need to get more creative. Professor Mummy. Great. Does the professor have to? <laughs> Obviously, you can tell I'm not a professor. I don't think I spelled that right at all. Yeah. Although, if it doesn't. Okay. Um. I think I will need the tutorial. That is interesting. You can just spend stuff to skip ahead. Uh, I will say, you know, it's fun revisiting this game and all, but boy, is some of the text and visual design of this a little awkward, and you can just tell this is an older game. But I do like how the uh, they introduce stuff here, and you end up being this refugee on Brainiac's ship and stuff like that. You get mentored by one of the DC Trinity or uh, one of three like kind of mainstream villains, depending on what origin you pick. And from there, it's kind of just whatever character you make and stuff like that. And I find there's a lot of freedom and it's just an interesting game. <laughs> it's not the best game in the world. It kind of feels like a sort of, I guess, successor to the City of Heroes and City of Villains game that was out there for a while, but this is still around, and I was just curious on what this is like, so I've got a few new features for it that I haven't played before, and we're just going to check it out. And yeah, they do an interesting, like, there's a Lex Luthor from an alternate future trying to avert this whole Brainiac thing, and uh, that's all I really remember from the plot, so it will be interesting to revisit that. But yeah, part of the reason why I, we just stopped doing the recaps is it was just exhausting keeping up with them week upon week kind of thing. And I do still want to do reviews and recaps, that sort of thing, and make those sorts of videos still. But uh, it's just a matter of timing and decisions and all that. But, I mean, I just put out, like, the last laugh video and stuff. Uh, I, and I know I do other complete stories here and there, too. That's why I always get a little confused when people ask me that, and I suspect part of the reason why I get asked that is because YouTube doesn't show people that content. So that's why I always bring it up, is like, that, that stuff never exists. There, <laughs> That stuff never stopped. Like that Zero Hour and the Nail, the Another Nail, I've all done recently complete stories, and I'm still plugging my way through Age of Apocalypse. and. I haven't really fundamentally changed the style of that, although I do want to add new features to it going forward. Urinator's saying, comics never end, there's always a story to be told. Uh, I agree. That's why like, I never really feel like there's a severe limit to what kind of videos I can make in terms of YouTube stuff. And then I do want to use shorts to do more just full fledged minute long excerpts of comics and stuff like that where we create everything that's on the page okay so I did the, that cutscene playthrough and stuff so you guys will have some idea of the content and here's Superman to save me I'm uh, just kind of testing things out because I kind of remember but uh, I uh, just refreshing myself on the controls I'm sure they will tell me more the game doesn't look terrible. <laughs> I do like my character. Oh, there's my new... There's that new movement thing. Oh, this is interesting. So how do you go down? Yeah, I figured out the ranged attack and melee attack thing. I have not figured out how to go down like this, though. But hopefully the game will tell me. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's block. I wonder. Controls. <laughs> oh yeah, you can play this with the controller. That makes sense, because I know it's like available on consoles and stuff, or was. You can be like playing this on your PS3 in theory or something like that. 
Although I don't know if that's still currently valid. Okay. They don't have the key bindings anywhere? Um, well, this actually... Okay. Chase. Skimming. Okay. Well, hopefully the game at some point will tell me how I can go back down onto the ground. <laughs> we are... I figure it's just a button to pit. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. Helpful. Uh, Deadhouse says, I play Planet Side 2 daily, daybreak really coasting on these old games. I used to play Planet Side 2 as well and have it associated to this same account, actually. Uh, I didn't ever hate Planet Side, and it's cool that you play it daily still. I can see why, because it is fun. And I have always kind of wanted to revisit that at some point uh, on the channel, too. So maybe we'll have to do that. Nice. So, the way I remember playing this game, and maybe using uh, <laughs> controllers different, is yeah, you're, you're kind of just doing little combinations with, uh, uh, what's it called, your left and right mouse button. Eventually, I assume I will unlock powers. Oh, I have not taken any damage, that's nice. <laughs> um, I feel like there is a way to dodge. Oh, there we go. Yep. Great. I am figuring things out so fast. One second, everyone. Hi, dear. Hi, How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. I'm just streaming right now. Oh, sorry. Bye. Oh, that's okay. Do you need anything? Or? Oh. <laughs> Okay, well, <laughs> that was just my partner. Oh, uh, French Potato is saying, My level of hype downloading this for free back in the day was crazy. LOL, this and Gotham City Imposters. Yeah, I don't think Gotham City Imposters is playable anymore, unfortunately, from if I, if I recall correctly, which stinks. But, uh, oh. <laughs> um... So, oh, interesting, okay. Deadhouse says, I'm downloading this now, making me nostalgic. You know, it's a fun game, and it's been forever since I've played it, but I am feeling nostalgic for it too, as uh, we're doing this intro level. I used to have quite a few characters. It seems like most of them are gone now, which, to be honest, I'm fine with. Like, it's just been so long that I, I understand. Oh, I got a new thing. Aha, uh -huh. so I can launch forward, and I have little red gauntlets when I do so. Smash him! Nice. So I got my first special ability. There is little things like, oh, there we go. That's much faster. It's like part of me, this game makes me want to just take off and start running. Um, but yeah, as I level up and complete this tutorial, I'm going to unlock more combinations and stuff and can do more fancy weapon moves. Uh, there's ways to break through guard that I'm sure I will eventually uh, remember. And I'm sure there will be more advanced combat stuff you can do, or uh, movement stuff too, is what I meant to say. Because uh, with the other movement ones, you can zip through the cities, because I believe you play as in uh, Metropolis and Gotham. Maybe more. Nice. Oh, I tried to pick it up and throw it. I believe it got smashed. I like the hand blasters. I remember they were kind of actually weird on range compared to other weapons, but it seems to be working fine. Oh, there we go. Actually, I, I realize I don't have to hold it down to blast people. Alright, pick it up. And throw it. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely tell it's an old game, but it's not a bad game. And I remember after a while it does feel a little repetitive and stuff. They, like There is a reason why I just kind of stopped playing, but there is a lot to do. I think they still update it. Okay, so maybe I pick it up and then just smash people with it? Yeah, there we go. Hmm. All right. Can't forget I have that, too. That should really clear my way through people. Where are you off to, Superman? Oh. Good job for Superman, everybody. <laughs> 
And um, then there's also the PvP in this, where you get to play as these superheroes and doing little uh, missions. There's different PvP modes, but I remember really liking that and unlocking like Batman and Harley Quinn and stuff, fighting other superheroes. It was it was a pretty big game from what I remember. That has the same, just fun to getting to interact with so many DC characters. Well, that's cool too. I think part of what inspired this for me is I was checking out like. Uh, we did that video on Crime Syndicate recently, where I was just doing a little stream on uh, reviewing the most recent series of that, and I was looking up, oh, like, what kind of video games are they in? And uh, this is one of them, and there isn't a lot of them with the Crime Syndicate specifically in there, so uh, I just thought, oh, that would be fun to check this out and take a look, and sure enough it is. It is funny uh, what you were saying. Uh, I think yeah, it was Dead House, like just how they coast on these old games, and that is what they do. They seem to just buy up games like this and Planet Side, and then just kind of keep it in not in maintenance mode, but certainly not in full development mode, like when they made this, and you're fighting off all the brainiacs and stuff. Although I, it does feel changed from what I remember. But maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. This is fun. We got a whole Justice League team like up, including Professor Mummy. I thought about just potentially leaving Professor Misspelled, because that would be pretty fun. This is pretty fun too though. We just get to cut loose a little bit. And uh, yeah, we get to escape from Baniac ship. You know, and, and playing this, it makes me wonder if this is part of why I kind of just had this, I guess we'll say, uh, like middling attitude towards uh, Injustice 2's plot. Ah, I achieved a feat. Very good. There's lots of little achievements and collectibles in this game to just kind of make worth exploring and collecting and doing things, I guess. But I think you can also use it to unlock more, like, weapon abilities and stuff to the point where, in theory, you could just master every type of weapon there is. But, uh, yeah, Injustice 2 featuring Brainiac so heavily reminded me a lot of this game, but just with less characters in Injustice 2. and. While I did have fun with that game, just like this one, I do think that was a limitation of it. Just like how this one is full of limitations. <laughs> uh, it's fun how Oracle is a part of this too. The skimming's interesting. Aha, I'm level up. I learned violence. Ah, oh, right. All my things are going to be rage themed. Okay. Is this not where I'm going? Oh no, Superman, that's where they went. Superman wants to go here with me. Oh, I see the little F. Uh... Oh right, because F is entering and exiting transport mode. Um... Zen Deadhouse says, it, yeah, it feels like they have 10 people working on the games, lol. It's... It's something very minimal and low-key like that, which they can use to kind of, you know, uh, justify relatively low income and stuff. The model clearly works because they have these games around forever and, you know, they still exist. Whereas, you know, someone brought up uh, Gotham City Imposters earlier and I mentioned, uh, what's it called, uh, City of Heroes those games don't survive in comparison so i i don't fall daybreak for keeping the torch alive it, it's cool to still be able to play this here in 2023 which is kind of fun on its own uh zach taft was saying that he was shocked to hear about kevin conroy passing away yeah that happened a while back and it's a real tragedy there is a lot of interesting material put out around his death though about you know, not only a struggle with uh, cancer and stuff like that, uh, but even his work and his life, uh, 
it ended up being the reason I read his uh, Batman comic and I found it quite moving and definitely worth checking out if anyone's interested because it is still available free online. And I'm pretty sure Kevin Conroy Batman comic is how I found it, just by googling that. Uh, definitely recommended. Me and Superman running a crew. That has a Saiyan Planet Side 2 definitely has a very dedicated player base. Oh yes, I remember being in guilds back then and having these organized things and stuff. Um, I liked playing as all the factions even though they are kind of functionally similar. I just liked the different aesthetics and uh, seeing the different dynamics of having three, three factions vying for power and such. Uh, each one, each account, or like character, I guess, uh, I kind of just focused on different things. But one thing I did love about um, Dead House says, sure, this game does also. Oh, I agree. Oh, hey, there's Wonder Woman. I'm sure there are people who are still very active and uh, a part of this game because they do still put out stuff all the time. You know, comparing it to other live service games, even ones that came out much more recently, like Multiverses and stuff, it's just amazing how active and uh, community oriented it feels like Daybreak is with these games. Everyone see, still seems really engaged. Obviously this is just a little single player instance we're playing right now, but uh, I was on their website just get, logging in and getting things ready and they still had a bunch of new content posted from what I could tell. It's not, you know, going to be fully CG cutscenes like what they had opening for this thing. I don't think they could ever afford anything like that. I am liking, by the way, the Red Lantern power so far. I have that cool uh, second power now where I just make a big burst of red energy. I'm, I'm glad I got this. I think it was definitely worth it, especially because this is just leftover currency I had from playing this in Planet Side 2. You do have to pay for this, though. That should be noted. I don't know. We'll see what skimming's like. <laughs> I just got the first little bit of powers for that, but uh, questionable on whether that's worth it. <laughs> but, you know, I, and I can justify it for the sake of reviewing and all that. It's just interesting to think about. <laughs> that has to say, and then the opening cutscene for this is legendary. Yeah, I didn't feel like watching it again just because I've seen it in so much by now but uh, it's definitely worth checking out on YouTube if you guys haven't yet uh, all right got my first hundred combo I don't know if they just make you like immortal and can't get knocked down or something here but I am enjoying just blasting through brainiacs <laughs> oh that's why people are bringing out Kevin Conroy because it's his voice here that is sad yeah, that's going to be true for a lot of games and cartoons and stuff, though. I think, um, you know, Kevin Conroy did such a good job. It's easy enough for him or like, to just kind of disappear in that. Like, I genuinely hadn't thought about that at all. Debbie agrees the opening cutscene is so amazing. He's asking what's going on. I don't know. In a minute, I'm going to have to pause and see if my girlfriend needs anything. Cause, oh, I see. I shouldn't just be... Uh, <laughs> fighting those guys over and over again. I could be fighting them over and over again, but I, I should be breaking this. Very good. <laughs> I did catch on eventually. Oh, there's the Brainiac. We gotta fight the Brainiac. Okay, I definitely remember this from before now. Earlier I was, uh, couldn't, I was thinking of this scene. Uh oh, he's, okay. Yes, I do remember the little skull above his head means that he's going to do a big angry attack and I should get out of the way. Seems, oh, I'm not doing any damage to him. Okay, I'm just going to have to get up close and personal. Man, it takes a while to dodge though while I'm in uh, mid combo. Oh boy. Okay, luckily, 
I do see all the health things around here if things go south. And maybe I just need Batman's help. Not me, Kevin. Oh, and I also do have, like, apparently 44 health packs. Is that right? Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. I just used one for the sake of it, because obviously I'm going to go through that pretty uh, quickly. Or, I mean, not quickly. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. That actually staggered him. Okay. Do your jumping thing. Yeah, not so tough are you now if I block, eh, Brainiac? Oh, okay. I think I should just... Nice. Okay, I did not get hurt by that now. <laughs> I'm bemused at just openly figuring out the game with everyone, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, there we go, I got him. Okay. Introductory tutorial level complete. Tevi's saying, yeah, his voice is in the game. That's a pretty good get for this game. Like, it really came in with a budget, but I, I don't think... I think it had to have serious uh, downgrades to its scope after a while. <laughs> or maybe not, you know. They developed the game, they sold it, they went to a free-to-play model, and that free-to-play model maintains it to this day. Thanks. Thanks, Oracle. Let's get out of here, everyone. We're gonna skedaddle. It is funny. I used to play this before I did anything on YouTube. Oh, okay. The partner said they'd be home around 8, so we have at least until then to play, but... Uh... Hold on, I'm gonna message here while that cutscene plays for you guys. Sabrina was just asking if we have some stuff in here. Big scary world out there. We did it. Oh, we still gotta escape, but we're gonna do it. Oh, do I just have to? There we go. <laughs> Tavia, do you not hear the game audio right now? Oh, you don't. I don't think. Oh no, it should be playing. Uh, it is possible that I accidentally cut it out there for a second, so let me know if you can't hear the game, but you should be able to. Oh, look at that. We have all <laughs> we have other players now, and there's a good amount of people playing, which is pretty fun. Uh, Deadhouse is asking, did they get any other DC cartoon actors? The entire JLU cast was perfect. I think it's a lot of them, but I could be wrong. Now, this is a feature I did like of the game, is... Even after I'm done with character creation, you can still customize things and tell it whether or not it should be shown or not. Mm. Ah, here we are, style. So now that I equipped that, I can have the cape or the bird wings. I kind of like the cape a little more now even though it just sort of comes out of my body I I'm covered in bandages I think it's fine all right yeah I remember this place this is where all the characters start I believe we're in uh, yeah oh we're in Metropolis Police Department very good Oracle bot I think these are like little collectibles you can unlock. Nice. Oh, okay. I like the 
the movement of the skimming so far. That's fun. Look everyone, it's the Flash. We love the Flash. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just checking stuff out. Oh yeah, okay, I remember all this now. This is the mail room. <laughs> Debbie's saying the cape is amazing. I like our weird mummy rage monster. But yeah, I think it's the Wonder Woman and stuff in the cartoons. I could be wrong, but... Okay, yeah, now that we're in here, I do want to check something about, like, my unlocks and stuff. There we go. What's that? Oh. So I do have Daybreak stuff. Oh, okay. Got a few things there. Yeah, okay. I guess that's all. That's interesting, though. Great. Now I can play as Batman in that. And I got unlocked a new mask. And that was another detail, is that you can kind of change it up a bit from your initial choices. <laughs> sure, that's great. <laughs> uh, based on the inventory you, and gear you get and stuff like that. And I have a gadget that I can use in combat now. I think just because I originally bought the game. Uh, Deadhouse says we love this Flash. Ezra Miller Flash, not so much. Yeah, and you know, I did that stream, but there are so many details to that, such as the weird poses Ezra does as the Flash that I found very odd. <laughs> Um, and just other strange little choices like that along the way that made the movie a little less than perfect. But I still enjoyed it, I think, more than I didn't. Hunter Iggy, thanks for joining us, if I didn't say that already. <laughs> well, that's a pretty interesting take on the Flash you got there. Oh, is that Jean Grey? Yep, Phoenix the Merc. <laughs> I love the stuff people make in this game. I think it's it's cool. Just the different, the wide variety of characters you can make in a relatively limited character creator. Press F to act your skim into mode and travel faster. Okay, but is there any details to that or I just kind of skim around? I guess it's so uh, you're like static shock. Ooh, this might actually help me learn. Okay. Oh, that's not it. I'm trying to see if there's any way to to zip this along exactly. Oh, I can slow myself down a lot. <laughs> Wonder there is a way to to dash and stuff. <laughs> WDS was asking if the game's still alive, and honestly, to a surprising extent, there was a bunch of people back there just at the starting area, and um, doesn't seem completely dead to me. We'll have to, and there was, yeah, there was a lot of people just doing whatever in chat. <laughs> I guess one guy's spamming chat, but I digress. <laughs> Great. Uh, we don't need to retry that for now. I don't know if there's a secret to moving faster, but we will have to see later. 
Oh, hey. <laughs> There's Wonder Woman just hanging out here. Ah, so we are off to Boardwalk Beach. Yeah, I, I know in the other ones, like the other movements and stuff, you can dash and the like. I will be curious what kind of... Oh, we get to do more stuff now. And yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. Okay, so I am a damage dealer and I got a new couple of combos. Oh, there's a Gorilla Scout down there. Ah, oh, I'm to defeat Gorilla Scouts. Smash, smash! Oh, that was easy. Oh, that's very easy. <laughs> These are not strong Gorilla Scouts. Leave these people alone. Oh, maybe it's because they were also battling these guys. Unclear. Nevertheless. Leap. Yeah, I pretty much kill them every time with just my little rage claws. Get him! My guess is these guys are to help make sure you leveled up enough in the intro area or something. Mission complete. Nice. trying to complete it. Oh, there we go. Yes. Yes, I understand what quests are. Game. Great! Oh, nice. Now we can do those legendary battles that I unlocked Batman for. Which I think is worth showing off for a second, because they're pretty fun. other stuff to do apparently. <laughs> okay, so I have that. Um hmm. Tevi is saying, uh, question, with the Flash movie being a failure, do you believe the rest of the DC uh, uh, mo universe movies are going to bomb? You know, obviously, uh, I can't say for certainty, but it is uh, a good question. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I don't know. I think people are going to probably give Superman Legacy a chance no matter what in, um, uh, God, what? Here's that coming out, 2025. Uh, I really don't know what's in store for Blue Beetle <laughs> in August. That one is a bit more of a question for me. I think audiences in general are amenable to such an idea <laughs> uh, of like a, you know, a Hispanic superhero and a cool one like Blue Beetle being a thing. But I understand maybe people being a little unsure and not willing to trust DC at this point in making a good movie. And I'm sympathetic to that. What like what reassurances has DC given the community at this point that they can make a decent movie? And Blue Beetle honestly just looked kind of okay in the trailer. The superhero himself looked good. But the actual trailer in the movie just seemed okay to me. So I'm not sure how much that is going to attract an audience. It might be one of those things where if it's good, word of mouth might spread a little bit and people will check it out over time. But until then, um, I'm a little skeptical. Now, as for Aquaman 2, I think that one's a little safer uh, in terms of it just being successful. Uh, Deadhouse is saying, I forgot about Blue Beetle. I would just drop that on Max if I was them. I don't think that new CEO of Warner Bros. Discovery 
uh, wants to do those streaming exclusive movies at all anymore, to be honest. For a big budget thing like this, I don't think that's in the cards whatsoever. Uh, so they're going to just take that risk and hope for the best. I think those budget cuts probably have a lot to do with, uh, what's it called? Um, why the Flash CGI looked the way it did and how that was kind of limited and stuff. Oh, interesting. Okay. So I got a new skill point. And a new power while we were doing all that. Ooh, who else? A giant energy ball. Damaging the target. I think we'll go with the meteor blast. Okay. Great. David S is saying, no, no, apparently people are saying that Aquaman 2 is unwatchable. And Dead House says it looks like Power Rangers. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how good it's going to be. But I think it'll at least get an audience more than, uh, or at least it's a little more likely to, I think, you know, make its money than some of the other, uh, what's it called, movies we've, uh, or like Blue Beetle and stuff, but uh, that sucks if that's true, that, it, that it's like really bad. I mean, I could see it, because who knows what they're going to have to do with Amber Heard and stuff like that. And I didn't even love the first Aquaman movie, all the stuff with the trench and stuff like that. In hindsight, it just didn't quite appeal to me. Ah, oh, but Tevye has a good argument. Blue Beetle, I think, will be fine uh, because it does come out on my birthday. It's so a happy birthday to me. Well, there you go. How could it be bad then if it's coming out on your birthday? <laughs> I, I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not even being too snarky there. It's like, oh, well, it's, it ought to be good <laughs> if, uh, if it's coming out on your birthday, you know? And hopefully it is. Otherwise, that's just, you know, fundamentally unfair. unfair. Oh, there's my meteor blast. <laughs> it's not the most visually impressive thing in the world. It's, uh... Hmm. It's holds, holds, right? I don't know. Oh, maybe I have to go, like... I can't figure that out, but oh well. <laughs> um, Davi, I'm just going to say, uh, defeat and re-evolve citizens. Anyways, uh, Davi's saying, DC has so many cool stories, but somehow the script writers aren't getting to them. Which is a good point. I think that's just something the comic book movies are struggling with a bit in general these days. Outside of rare gems like Spider-Verse and the like. Uh, Tevi is saying, Across the Spider-Verse made its money back and destroyed the Flash in the box office, literally. Well, and yeah, and Spider-Verse deserved that. It deserved the win. So, I think that's just a victory for all of us. Uh, there's a little collectible thingy here. I want the thingy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do like the uppercut. We got something, everyone. Oh, I think it's like a good little bit of crafting material. Uh, Heroes won the ring war. That's unfortunate for me, a red lantern to hear. Although I am a superhero, so who knows. <laughs> I like the citizens being infected and chasing others down. Let me heal you. I will save you all. Come here. 
Man, my main power thing does a ton of damage. It does what like three or four melee attacks takes. And it costs very little energy. <laughs> Overload devolution unit. It's like a crafting material thing. Just wanted to check and make sure. Are you a devolution unit? Yes. Oh my god, it's a citizen transformed into a gorilla! You look great with his little suit on. But what a great way to start your game. Running around fighting gorillas as if you have a meta origin. It's a perfect expression of what's great about the DC universe, in my opinion. Oh, I see, he's interrupting me. I like my weird mummy uh, rage character. He's fun the way he fights. Alright, so I'm just going to fly around and do that. Okay, tent's leaving me alone. Just deal with these guys. this guy going. Uh, Terry's saying, I'm also happy Across the Spider-Verse proves Marvel comics themselves are wrong. Oh god, he, he said that all last time, man. <laughs> oh, sorry, but I'm going to have to be a little more selective in chat uh, if you guys are going to do that. <laughs> I don't have much else to add to that. Um, great. Ooh. Got a box of something. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess that's... Wait, where did that go? Oh, well. Oh. Oh, I see. It's like, I thought I got a new glove thingy. Oh, I like those. That is great. That looks so fun. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now we're off to Gorilla Grodd's lab. I kind of remember that was the kind of gameplay loop of this, uh... Um like game overall I guess <laughs> for lack of a better word uh, you, you kind of go around and do different missions in the area and then you go to the little main dungeon area and fight a boss or something and then you get a reward and it's a fun model I have a good time with it yep. hang on a sec Ah, uh, so you do wear down gear. Oh, that's why they brought it up. <laughs> okay, I don't think I need any... Uh... What's it called? New health kits, but that should be good. I think part of what I was saying about like the font and the design of the game just looking a little old is also just it was made for a different era of graphic fidelity and as such there's just certain little quirks of the game that are now just a lot more apparent with modern graphics and stuff and a lot of that is around the fonts of all these menus and stuff and just it's just interesting. I am glad that I misspelled Professor, I believe, <laughs> for Professor Mummy. I, I just find that funny. I had to double check I did misspell it, though. <laughs> Gorillas! Get him, get him, get him!
Oh, I got a new power, too. Oh, that's fun. A little barrier to keep me safe. Oh my god, the gorillas are throwing barrels. Oh, damn it. I was trying to shoot them before they did the thing. Oh, okay. There we go. That's what I wanted. Nice. It's messing them up. Get the gorillas. All right. We did it. So we've got to defeat gorillas and find the flash. I can do that. I'm getting a good set of powers at this point. that to fix them. Oh, it does show a little X there. Oh, there it is. Great. Now I just gotta find the flash. Uh, I don't know much about Ultimate Invasion, Tevia, although that's an interesting idea of him going back. Uh, I... yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not current enough in those comics to comment much. I did uh, catch up on Zeb Wells and Spider-Man recently and enjoyed that more or less, but it does have problems for sure. Uh, all of Spider-Man these days just seems to have problems in the comics, or at least uh, just how reductive it all feels. All right, everyone, you are free. I must go find the Flash. I don't what's going on here. Hmm. Nothing apparent. <laughs> okay. Might be one of those little exclamation mark things around here. Gotta get my little lore unlocks. Okay, I think we're going this way. <laughs> Deadhouse, I just noticed uh, he was saying uh, those gorillas aren't monkeying around, which is funny. But also, you asked uh, if Gal Gadot is out. I think so. I've heard pretty firmly through, like, uh, just, I don't know, comic media or whatever, that uh, Wonder Woman 3 is not happening, at least not the version envisioned by Patty Jenkins or anything with Wonder Woman anytime soon. Um, I could certainly understand why she might be frustrated by uh, the way her character has been used lately in the in the franchise, just showing up for cameos in those uh, ridiculous, like, the last two movies, the way she has. And uh, I would be surprised if she wants to return to any of that, since I doubt it's doing her any her career any favors at this point. But uh, I hope it's not the end of Wonder Woman being adapted for film or anything like that, because she's a fun character and doesn't deserve to be treated that way. And maybe there's life for woman, Wonder Woman beyond Gal Gadot. I don't think there's anything lost in finding a new cast member for that, to be honest. I, I'm not that big a fan of her. Uh, as a, an actor. <laughs> but I love me Wonder Woman, so... I, I do think, yeah, there's there's areas to improve that. Oh, it's Gorilla Grodd himself! Oh, nice. We've done felled him. And then he knocked me down. Oh, right, I have the Batarang, too. Take that. Seems to have dizzied me or telepathically influenced me somehow. Okay. I gotta dodge this, I assume. Zip. Zip. Oh man, they're just bouncing around everywhere. Oh no, no, no. That's fun. This take on Flash is interesting. 
that can't be the J uh, the animated voice though, and that makes sense because that's right, Michael Rosenbaum is a pretty big name. I don't think that was him, right? <laughs> no, that's not him at all. <laughs> it's not even like close. <laughs> Deno says she just straight up shows up, smiles, and goes, Oh, you guys. That is a pretty perfect summary of all we get out of that, and that is quite disappointing. Oh, I got a new something. Oh, a new cape. Well, let's take a look. You never know. <laughs> oh, it's like the little blue beetle thing. I, I don't hate it. Pretty good, good pose. Mm. All right. Bye, Flash. I did always love the little cutscenes that used to play after you do these little adventures too. That the game has effort put into it and stuff. It, it is more impressive than it isn't. I love Gorilla Grodd. He's such a fun villain. <laughs> this is a great cutscene with everyone being gorillaed. <laughs> oh no! They got the flash! Chevy's saying, still no game audio, sadly. At all. Okay. Well, here, I'll try and turn this up for you guys a bit. But you should still hear it. I don't think that's right. <laughs> okay. I think this is closer to what I wanted to do with that anyways. There's a little unlock thing. That is just saying, solid art in this game. Agreed. There's a strong sense of respect for the comic books and the art they they draw from. I feel, and they do a really good job with that. All right, let's get out of here. Great. Okay, so we might take a quick break for a second, but uh, I'll be back in a minute. I just, uh, <laughs> I don't know, need a water break and stuff. But I'll see you guys in a moment.
All right, let's see here. There I am. Okay. So, I think what we'll do next is maybe check out some PvP if we can. I think it said I unlocked that. And uh, we'll give that a try and then maybe call it from there. We'll see. like loading. Nope. Okay. There's a way to do this. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> I think that has to do with the bases you can eventually unlock and stuff though. Oh wow, and there's like augments and all that. Yeah, and base screen there. There is a way. <laughs> Maybe I don't have that unlocked yet. PvP. Okay, I don't know. Here we are. Right. Ah, so I have a couple of them unlocked, but I, I, oh man, I swear that I had more. Maybe I just had unlocked those. Oh, interesting. Okay, well we can try out Batman. Uh, it just, oh nice, okay, now yeah, we'll do like, I think four and eight sounds good. Zach to have to say in the games just like he remembers, yeah me too. Uh, it's amazing the stuff that holds up. It's just a matter of finding where everything was. Okay. We are queued. Meantime, as well, go head on over to Bohemia. Hmm. Might be lagging out on. Oh, yeah. Well, all of a sudden my connection's been petering out a little bit. Let me just make sure. Ah, uh, yes, that might be doing it. I'm just gonna exit some background programs that were up. That might help. Oh yeah, already much better. I wonder. I feel like there's got to be more interesting movement around the corner. Because as it stands, all I really can do is just float around. <laughs> yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom's fun enough. Oh, that's cool. I do smash the ground when I land. It's an important detail. Uh, maybe when I unlock better traversal or something. Assuming that exists. And I really don't know if that's the case or not. Uh, see, that's a fun loading screen. With Mera reflected in the visor of Black Manta. Oh, now it's time to talk to the Flash. Get out of the way, dude. <laughs> hey, it's my partner in Monkey Ball. You up for a new crisis? Because Hive's taking over the Metrodome. Yeah, that Superman voice activating for the Flash is just okay. You guys should be able to hear it. I'm not sure if uh, people can't or why not. 
I don't know how that dude's blocking things there. Nice. I got stuff. And I learned something. I got a lot of things. Oops. Oh, okay, well, got the booster pack enabled, I guess. <laughs> oh, a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, I guess I got a base. Oh, that's fun. I mean, we're around here. We'll go there for now. Oh, I don't have the money required for it yet. Oh, there's one there, 750. Sure. Right. Head to your base now and we'll take Let's check out our base. That has a saying that they can hear it now. Oh, maybe I just had it too low. I'm oh, sorry about that, guys. All right. Head to your base now also, uh. This is your mainframe, the nerve center of your lair. Okay. Use it to gain access to powerful tools like Seems like every other base management system in an online game I've played before, powering. but. Good to know, I guess. To more powerful features. This okay. is your dispenser, where you'll retrieve the items that you've selected in the mainframe, such as communicators for your backup and orbital strikes. Uh -huh. Finally, this is your base's control panel. It's used to enter decoration mode, alter okay. the colors of your um, base, and for other utility purposes. Can't even skip this. <laughs> oh, it is still queuing for this. Huh. Oh, and you can decorate your base. <laughs> Sorry if I sound sarcastic, but now that you've added the base it's not exactly the, the most uh, the original mode. I've ever seen. While in decorator mode, uh, I don't want to enter decoration mode. <laughs> <markers. While most laughs> don't make me. Interesting. Replacement mode and be able to place base items almost anywhere. So that about ah. wraps it up. I'm sure you'll. Okay, that was not the most exciting thing, but oh well. <laughs> I was having fun with the uh, with the game and stuff, though. <laughs> Interesting. Wow, those servers are pretty full. That's interesting. The only downside is I appear to have warped myself across the map. Little means to teleport back, which is surprising. There's a teleporter there. Oh man, do you have to ping every time? I oh, whatever. Oh man, he moves so slow. <laughs> okay, well, if it's gonna be stuck on the hue, I'm surprised that we have it. I am curious about this though. Oh. Can't pick a fight with them for some reason. Oh, okay. Wasn't sure if they were gonna be over leveled and overpowered to oblivion. But in uh, hindsight, this might just be the magic starter area. Which is something. Ooh, treats. Okay. That's 
this time. Like That's something. Nice. Yeah, I do you like uh, how much it feels as though you're in Metropolis and Gotham, and especially just the difference between the two cities when you go to them. Wonder if there's more areas and exploration. Uh, the game's been out for like a decade or so. But yeah, I don't know if you guys need to see me slowly making my way across the entire map. Are there rally points where you can teleport? Nope. I don't know what that means. Oh well. Or maybe it is, because that is rally point. So if I say rally point and warp. Oh, it took me all the way back there. Great. Well, that's probably it for DC Universe for now. Um, yeah, I don't really uh, care to, 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 to do all that over again. But uh, I think that was a fun little introduction and we got to check it out again. And we might do that again at some point. We'll see uh, what the numbers look like and stuff. But for now... Uh, I think that's all I was really going for with this little stream. Thanks for hanging out, everyone, and we'll see you next time here on Comic Island.